My name is Michael Orekoya, um, Head of Chambers of the Ghani Farm Incident Chambers, um, University of Lagos. Um, I personally believe that um, a wrong to one is a wrong to all. The fact that you are not affected by a particular wrong now does not mean that it's not going to have a ripple effect on you. Uh, Mr. Shoure was unjustly arrested by the DSS. He was unjustly or is being unjustly incarcerated by the DSS. This is a clear violation of his fundamental rights. This is done by a government, by an administration that claims to be transparent and clear. But I must state that it is wrong and it is a violation of his rights. And we as a people, we have to realize that it's your right today. Next is going to be us. Nigerian youth, take a stand. Raise your voice. Raise your voices against the unjust arrest and detention of Obo Yelisho He has done nothing wrong. He has violated no part of the Nigerian constitution. He only exercised a constitutional right. HOC Ghani Prime Minister Chamber, last law. Before we talk about revolution, we should first of all know what is the benefits. Is it personal benefits or for the benefit of the people? You know, the highest, he said, the safety of the people should be the highest law in the land. Going back, Burun Kimcho, I'm a 400 level student of the Faculty of Law, University of Lagos. Concerning the um, revolutionary protest that was organized by Omoye Leshore, well, I personally feel that the protest is something that you know was really needed at this time because there has been a lot of impunity, a lot of injustice. A lot of people are dying, you know, Nigerians are being killed all around the world, both home and abroad, you know, and, you know, he was simply expressing his grievances with the government. I personally feel he was wrongly, he has been wrongfully detained, you know, and I call that he should be released. My name is Koko Laryomi, the year two law student of University of Lagos. Regarding Shoure now, revolution now, I think it was the right cause, but proper information was not disseminated. So as a result, we had a low turnout for the whole um, um, process. That's why governments were able to curb our activities. But I mean, great support. I think it was a nice initiative, generally. Actually, before he called for the revolution, I knew the revolution would happen. But I never knew it would be so soon. So the question of where it is now, or later, I don't know. But I knew revolution would happen. So when he called for it, in fact, I saw this why it needs to happen. Now, but the problem is, to me, I feel the revolution we need in this country is not just about the political revolution, which most people think of. We need revolution. We need everything. We need to change politically, socially, in our religion, in the way we think. Now, Going by the revolution of Shoure, I see no reason why a sane person or a sane government should arrest such person. Because the focus, the, the reasons for the revolution, for the protest, were being published. And if you, if you read through them, you can say, okay, these are reasonable ideas. Okay, what are you talk of? A country where killing has become normal, where nobody cares about, about anybody's life. What are you talk of a country whereby 30,000 30, 30, minimum wage is not being, is not being practiced? Or we talk of a country whereby you can't work freely, even in your own house, you are not safe. So if a man can come out and say and protest that these things are not right, we want the government to do something about it. And people think such man should be jailed, then I give up on such country. So for me, I feel the call for revolution for, is the right is the right approach and we need it. And there's no better time for us to have this revolution than now. Now is the time. My sincere opinion about the activities of Moyele um, Shoure using the tag name revolution now is a move that many of us boarding youth would have loved to promote and be involved in the activities of formulation is for the good of the federal republic of nigeria 
and it is not outside his right as a citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as recognized by the grand norm of the country as enshrined in section 40 and sections 41 of the Constitution. So, what we need to be addressing now, what are the issues that Omoyele Shore, through the revolution now, intends to champion? These are issues that border on the dignity, livelihood, and liberty of the citizens of the country. And I would like to use this opportunity to lend my voice to that cause and to say that in a democratic dispensation as we have in Nigeria, there is no crime as a revolutionary crime. It is only going to be a crime if it threatens, if it threatens the national integrity and sovereignty of the country, which it clearly does not, because when they when they went out to protest, it only went violent when the agents of states intervened. In fact, the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria jumped the gun by arresting the man who was calling on Nigerians to rally themselves together to speak against the oppression that they bemoan in silence. And I want to use this opportunity to also say that ideas are bulletproof. I am Akoni Idris Oladende by name. Um, concerning the Shoreas issue, there is the need to understand as Nigerians that we have our constitutional rights and our constitutional rights are the only things that we are sure that the government should at least respect the right to peaceful assembly is in chapter 4 of the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria but in the case whereby we have a clash between the federal government pointing fingers at somebody like Shore is a question of intention. Do we really know the intention of such a person? No, I am not trying to support Shore or the federal government, but I'm trying to say that when we think about this logically, we will find out that the question of intention is a test. My name is Ajibo Tolowanimi. And then I feel like the process, in my opinion, was right. It's right. It's a good idea. A good standing behind it. Because the time we are in Nigeria, we have talked for years. Election, election, we have talked. It's time for action. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, they fought for what they, for what they wanted. At this point, we are done talking. We have tried a peaceful approach. Nothing is working. At this point, this is what we need. I am a student of the University of Lagos, Faculty of Law, and I'm a 400 level student. When we heard revolution, many people thought it was a bloody revolution. A revolution can be bloody, and a revolution can be bloodless. And in this case, as much as I know, Section 40 of the Constitution, 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, has established that there can be um, freedom of assembly, and to that extent, we can exploit this right to ask for what is right from the government. And then I talked about people coming here to speak, and then I would say that most of these people are hypocrites. And the reason why I'm saying most of these people are hypocrites is because when they call for revolution now, and then we saw it as a just cause, some people will come here and tell you that it's a just cause. Most of them never attended the Revolution Now March. It's um, better if our people um, early enough realize that we need to stand up against the government, not carrying arms, but raising our voices against all kinds of oppression, no matter form, way, or fashion possible. Thank you. My name is Adiloju Oluwatofumi Isaac. And regarding the arrest of, and, and the detention of Omoyele Shoure, Personally, I feel it is a step taken too far and it's a derogation and not even a derogation in this case, it's a deprivation of our right to freedom of expression, freedom of association. A call for a revolution, a call for people to protest against the government, a call for people to speak against the government, a call to be the dissenting voice in the society is not in any way a terrorist act. It is not in any way an action that should warrant detention. As a matter of fact, 
we have to understand that our society has come to a level where our survival as a nation depends on the few dissenting voices. Our survival as an individual might depend on taking the wise option of keeping quiet. But in actual reality, we need people to actually stand up and speak for the country. To the best of my knowledge, you can't survive a bully by negotiation. You can't survive a bully by asking honestly. You have to stand up to a bully and talk to them. We've been oppressed by the leaders of our society. And it is expected of us to stand up and let the leaders know that enough is enough. We Nigerians demand and deserve a better life. And that was the reason why we voted for them in the first place. And I call on every average Nigerian, on every Nigerian that understands the importance of this, to keep advocating and keep talking to Nigerians, to stand up for what is good, what is right, and for all the protection and the preservation of human rights. Thank you. My name is Chideberi Nwodika. I'm a student of law at the University of Lagos, and I'm an, I am an advocate of the Ghani Family Student Chambers, University of Lagos. As pertaining to the Shawere issue, we believe, and there's a misconception, that revolution is synonymous to violence. This is very, very wrong. Revolution is the inherent right of the citizenry of every nation to call for a restructuring of the problems pertaining to that nation. Shawere has come out as a conscious citizen of, the, of, the, of, of, of Nigeria to speak about the ills, the societal, um, the societal ills that are, um, that are plaguing the Nigerian society currently. It is not wrong, it is the right of every individual and every citizen in this country to come out to call for a revolution, to come out to question the government where they are not functioning properly. We, and we can see of how Nigerian society is, 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 is deteriorating. We need, we need a revolution. We need, we, we, this is a clarion call to the government. This is a clarion call to every citizen of Nigeria that revolution is not synonymous to violence. We are not violent people, but we are conscious, vibrant Nigerians that are called for a restructuring of the Nigerian society and the Nigerian polity. This is the time, and the time is now.